Okay, hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of the Star Wars Nation Fan Club podcast. So I'm Nation, and I'm joined today by... Introduce yourselves, let me ask. Woo! Wave your lightsabers in the air. Woo! Okay, when I say introduce yourself, you're supposed to actually say who you are. Hi, Ben. Hi, it's Ben. Okay, that's, that's close enough, alright. I'm Jeremy. Uh, hi, I'm Aslan. Uh, and I'm Shah, at least I think. You, you think you're Shah? Yes. That's Hello there! Yeah, okay, that's Sanjeev's typical greeting, so yeah. So yeah, we, it's a special episode because we're joined today by members of the Lightsaber League of Malaysia. So give yourselves a round of applause, Lightsaber League of Malaysia members. Alright. So, uh, you know, as you, as you guys know, the usual format is club updates followed by news and whatnot. But since it's so close to our last one... Okay, Sean's also here, yeah. <laughs> Since it's so close to our last episode, we don't really have many new updates uh, for you guys, right? Um, as far as I know, membership is still chugging along, isn't it, uh, Sanjeev? It's chugging along, yes. Yeah. Okay. At a snail's pace, but it's getting there, don't worry. Yeah, yeah but we, we can definitely confirm we've got more than 500 registered members of the club now, right? Ooh, so, yeah. round of applause, everybody, Woo! 500 Woo! members. Woo! Right. I'm glad I'm early. You're early. <laughs> Those who haven't got your cards yet, they are coming, they are on the way. We need to take time to get the batches done as we talk about the cards. So don't worry. Yeah, where's my card? Huh? <laughs> I thought you already you 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 have your cards. Card. Yeah, yeah, just go with the package. Oh, you just got your package? Yeah. Actually, you want to show it to me? It's a really big package. package. Oh, you left it in your bag. Okay, sorry. Right. Oh, Alright. So, usually now we talk about future events. Uh, there's nothing to update about any mangaki as of yet. Uh, we still haven't gotten much word from our. Was it the organizing committee of Animagaki? So there's no updates for that. Uh, the Force Awakens screening, the update is we are now at number 117. 117. Whoa. And counting. And counting. Yes. How, many, how many have we got I left? Think, I think we have up to about close to 130. I think that's where we draw the line thus far. So we've got maybe about 15 left before we close for right. the that's screening. Right. Yeah? Okay. Right. All right. That's good to know. All right. So on to the hot topic of the week. And. Since we have our Saber Maestros with us, we're going to talk about the Cross Saber from The Force Awakens, okay? So, I'm going to pose a question to you guys, you, can, you guys can uh, take your turns answering. Why do you think the Cross Saber is shaped the way it is? Why is it? Why does it look like that? I think it's cobbled. Yeah. yeah. So, it's like, you just must make a bigger impression. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? What, what do you think, Shah? Why is like the impression is like when you see like a nice table like that, gives you like a visual feel. Do you think it's a practical design though? Practical design will say not really. Yeah. No, not really. Yeah. Depends on how you use it. Yeah. It looks like yeah. it'll be a lot of accident, lose your arms like that. <laughs> yeah, but you remember you see he uses the force. <laughs> yeah, that is so, true. Yeah, that, that should play a factor. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll share my speculation with you guys. I actually think that um, the speculation being that Kylo Ren, the character that uses the cross saber, um, he's not like a real Sith or a real Jedi. That's what some of the rumors are. So my speculation is that the saber is like that because because he can't, you know, in the Star Wars universe, he can't contain the heat, cannot contain the blade properly. So the cross guard is actually an exhaust port. Right? Like, like you see, notice when he turns on the blade, Initial blade comes out first, and then after that, only then the secondary blades come out. So I think it's like, okay, the, the, the lightsaber itself can't, can't keep in all of the energy, then it uses an exhaust port. What do you guys think? You think that sounds plausible? Uh, sounds plausible. Really? I also think it could be just more like an ancient design, you know? Like, perhaps because if you just look at, at what's happening right now, it's so like the force is awakening as well. Right, you know? Now? Go on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, so like I was saying, it could also just be an ancient design because the force is just reawakening. It looks like you know the Jedi have not been around for a long time. At least that's what the trailer shows, right? Yeah. Uh, and because of that, it could be that this character, the Kylo Ren guy, it has been going around and they're getting like artifacts. This is what a lot of the speculation is showing as well. This is why you know there's that Darth Vader helmet. Who in the world would want to take that, right? Yeah. And so that is one of the threats, and that's what some people are talking about. Where this is just an ancient lightsaber that was used maybe five or ten thousand years ago. 
now that we know that you know what we've seen books for example right they're now okay. all EU uh, we do not know what really happened during that time so what we've seen like you know Knights of the Old Republic what we've seen during the Hangar Space Wars the Sith Wars yeah. did that all really happen now it probably didn't and maybe yeah. this new history that they have been writing right now yeah. says that this was the kind of sabers that they used in the ancient past all right. I mean, like, actually, you know, it's an interesting point that you bring up about the Knights of the Republic and old sabers because I think, if I'm not mistaken, their saber is based on an old Republic design, right? Uh, the uh, exact way past old Republic. Yeah, yeah, there it's we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's okay if you guys if you guys can't see it through the video, we'll probably just throw it up. Uh, you know, throw it up. Uh, picture this, I right believe, was the Sith War, right? Four thousand years. Was the Sith War, four thousand years before. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Exakun's, uh, Exakun's, yeah. right? Exakun's, yeah. yeah. So it was actually originally the inspiration in the comics for Darth Maul's double-bladed lightsaber right. in the canon. Right. Okay, I did not know that. Um, I kind of just thought that George would ignore most of whatever happened in the expanded universe and then just simply just do his own thing, you know, rather than rather than actually taking inspiration from the expanded no, universe. No, actually, for this particular series, George himself had... If I remember correctly, George himself actually sanctioned it. Like they actually had to run the storyboards through him and say, like, okay, this is the, how the story is going. This is the design. Can we run with this? And he's like, okay, I want you to change a little bit, change a little bit there, and then the rest of it's fine. So it's actually it was actually sanctioned by George Lucas okay. as well. So for those of you that don't know um, Bear, um, there's a reason why Bear is not allowed to take part in any Star Wars trivia I contest. scream discrimination <laughs> on this. <laughs> there's a reason why um, he's not allowed to do so. Um, yeah, Sanjeev and I are apparently not allowed to do so either. So, yeah. Yeah, because I'm yeah, because you guys are the hosts. Yeah. <laughs> apparently because so. you're the organizing committee and all that. Yeah. And Jasmine also, Bear, Bear's wife is also not allowed to attend. She's not an actual nerd. Also, she I, I, I scream discrimination she's again. Nerd, yeah. <laughs> they are leaving Wikipedia. Holocron. 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 There we go. Yeah. So actually, like, okay, if you guys were to build your lightsaber, would you actually consider the crossover as a practical day-to-day design? Would you actually want to use one? Say you had the boss. Say you had the ability to build it. Would you actually use? your sentiments as well. I mean, this is what uh, I think, I believe Ewan McGregor himself said, right? You know, the person who played movie one thing. He was saying, why is there a use for double-bladed or cross-saber? I mean, old school is the best usually. I mean, that's why 99.9% of lightsabers are just a single blade. Because we know how to use it in the hands of a good person. It's an elegant weapon for a civilized yeah. age. Sean, what about, what do you think? I really have to agree with single bit it's much more better, easy to use. So, I mean, from the, let's say, from a normal perspective view, yeah. you don't even need to hold the exhaust pipe and everything. Yeah. You just use like a single bit. Don't have to worry even if you forget about the post or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even if you forget the post. So if I'm at the scene and then no one knows me, so I'll just say I face a Jedi and the Jedi wouldn't know that I have actually a boss guy. Then I'll just send them up. So everyone will surprise the Jedi. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's, it's a way of intimidation, also. yes, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. uh, shock and awe. Yeah. Actually, I think I've, I, had a, here in you. <laughs> I had an interesting discussion with, uh, geez, I don't remember, I think it was with uh, Andrew. Andrew, our club treasurer, right? um, whereby if we were to take like the single blade and uh, another single blade. Where's your single blade? Right. Where's your single blade? Yeah. Do we have a single blade with us? Yeah, brought here. Single blade. I know. Yeah, we have our production assistants and our underlings <laughs> helping us as well. Minions. Yeah, I was actually thinking, like, you know, if wow. 
you know, when you lock plays like this, and then you have the cross and then we're out the curve, I just have to twist my wrist a little bit, you know, and push forward. That's it. That's that's his face done. You know, or his chest. Or in this case, you know, you sort of see here, and that's his fingers. Right. And another interesting point, I mean, if you see the lightsabers weren't actually the exhaust fans, and they were actually, you know, the smaller sabers that were coming out, right? Yeah. Um, so this is where I go back like, to the EU as well. So a lot of the stories that actually take part during the course of events, like right now, yeah. you have like guilt, right? That not only does he have one long saber, but he has a short saber as Shoto. well. Yeah. This is the Shoto, Shoto, right? Yeah. So this is like the fate of the Jedi series. This is what he carries around. So, and uh, when you look at Legacy I, of the Force, I'm going to correct you there. Legacy, Legacy of the Force, of the Force yeah. yeah. Yes. But, uh, right. Sorry to interrupt, but yeah. the thing is also, Luke actually had a reason for his Yeah. Yes. It was actually from the comics. Correct. That's and he right. carried over in Novels, yep. and it's always the same opponent. Lumia. Lumia. Yep. Lumia yeah. That's right, it's to capture her light with. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. More, not so much to capture, but more to counter it as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for those also, of you that don't know who Lumia is, we're going to put up a picture for you guys right now to see. Yeah. 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 The other thing as well is that, so it's coming back to the conversation, then we're talking about like Corrin Horn, right? Yeah. Remember Corrin Horn's lightsaber not only had an intensity setting, but also a blade adjust setting. Yeah. So what happens then is, is that, I mean, when you're fighting in this combat, you see there's a lot more range of things you can do. Yeah. Because if you have the sabers on, you know, and you think the sabers may be on, but if I had the modulation mm-hmm. control to turn it off, then you're going to lose your stance because you think you're going to hit that saber, but then you fall forward, and then you can strike it out. By the way, Vader's and Kuhn's also have such modulation. It's called the multi phase lightsaber. That's right. Ah, yes. So this is why we don't allow him to I still scream discrimination. <laughs> you know too much. You need Holocron. <laughs> it's not my fault. Yeah. I say, I, I, we, we can't really blame you for reading too much. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I have a if the, the day that becomes a bad thing, um, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. So true, read books, kids. Read books. Read books, so yeah. And adults too, by the way. Yeah. Actually, um, Koran, Koran Horn's uh, lightsaber, um, just, just for you guys. I think you would know this. Um, Silver? His, his, uh, it, it actually came from his ancestor, Neja, Neja Hal, Halcyon. Neja Halcyon. Neja Halcyon, Neja Halcyon who also had the, the dual phase lightsaber. And it was from there that Koran Hon developed his own fighting style, based on that lightsaber. Um, and then but, he took the name of his, his as well, Kieran Yes, yeah, I, I don't even remember the book, which book is it? Oh, I, 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 yes, yes. Well, they're all legends. <laughs> you know, they all don't matter. They do course. matter. Koran Horn doesn't officially exist anymore, you know, so yeah, that's how it is. But okay, alright. Since we're a bit with a whole bunch of lightsaber enthusiasts here, you want a single blade, right? Just a normal single blade, right? Yours also a single blade, just a normal single blade. You? I have my dream kill right here. Woo! There we go. Oh. Double bladed sorcerer. Oh, Double bladed sorcerer. Oh, 4,000 years ago. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> the first recorded double bladed yes. lightsaber. Yes. Jeremy, how about you? Just the normal single blader. Actually, you know what? Um, you know, uh, Jeremy has actually done some some of his own weathering effects yeah. on the on the hills. Yeah, no, actually, put this up in like a picture. Yeah, yeah we'll right? take a picture. We'll put it up. You know, just in case because our video is a bit wonky. Um, you know, I don't have a professional grade video. Yeah, it's uh, not yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, soon. not yet. No, soon, 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 soon. soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get the ideas from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sanjay, yeah. a nice, a nice camera for Rafi will do fine. You know that only really works <laughs> on the weak mind. <laughs> nice camera. No, Where actually, nice camera? actually, we I not mention that. Then. Ah, <laughs> right. We should, we should be doing the mind trick on the treasurer if he was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. Fancy mind trick. So. So Andrew, if you're listening, um, <laughs> Bear is currently waving his hand in front of your face and saying you will get Rafi a good camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fancy one, professional rigs. <laughs> oh, president doesn't mind from out of here. Yeah, so, yeah there we go. Ooh, all right, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. That's a green line. So yeah, um, uh, quickly going back to Jeremy. Yeah. Um, this kind of weathering effect, like how how did you achieve this? Yeah. Um, who shared it with you? I think someone shared it. Lots yeah. of usage. So okay. what I did is I actually <laughs> check out in the Backsaber League in Malaysia. Uh, Facebook. So some of the, uh, the pioneers like Reza Amir, uh, like Paris and other guys, they just shared the 
I use. So what I did is I learned that you can use the sandpaper yeah. to just sand uh, the black silver. So from a, like, a very plain black tube yeah. silver, you actually, you actually can do the withering effect like the same Ah, okay. Alright. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll put up a video, a, a picture for you guys uh, yeah. once uh, once I put this together. Yeah. But actually, it looks really nice though. Yeah. Yeah. Hunt, uh, who's the one that came across it? Oh, Reza. 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 Pressure, then you get a different color. Okay. Yeah, I thought, like, why not just do a very simple one? Okay. Yeah, I think that it's fine to me. That's oh. what I mean, different people have different preferences. Okay, okay. Yeah. different type of set pepper too, right? No, 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 I think it's more to your pressure, the more, more raw. Uh, yeah. Okay, alright. Well, uh, shout out to Reza, Reza Ame, if you're listening. Woo! Uh, you know, thank you for introducing yeah, this thing to us. Yo! Right. Yeah. And actually, you know, speaking of. Um, the, the group, the Lightsaber League of Malaysia. Right. Um, of course, I'm I, I'm also a member. Obviously, I didn't bring my sabers with me today because I have to carry all, all of this <laughs> stuff with me. So yeah, very hard working. Very hard working. Yeah, hard working. I have to bring my studio with me for this. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, if you guys want to find out more about lightsabers, go to the Lightsaber League of Malaysia. That's what you find on Facebook, right? Um, what shout- is the link? For you? Uh, I th- it's uh, facebook.com slash lightsaber league Malaysia. Right? And it's the American spelling for lightsaber, yeah. meaning that it's L I G H D S A B E R. And you just said like a ton of British people going on. <laughs> no! Lucas is American. <laughs> all his actors are British, right? There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of his actors are British. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah they've also got. Um, we also got a card here, you can't really see it from this distance, but again, we'll throw up a picture for you here, right? And uh, yeah, so this is, uh, if you, if those of you that are listening at home are interested in group buys, if you're interested in finding out more about lightsabers, I uh, can always just head over to the group, right? Ask all of our Otai Otai here, all of these guys are very active in the group, uh, you know? And uh, also, uh, also a shout out to uh, the group's big daddies, uh, Tintoy, uh, Azizul, Right? Uh, big thanks to them. Azizu usually handles the group orders for uh, ultra for Ultra Sabers, right? Actually, Bear Bear does a lot of the group orders for Saber Force, right? As well. Yeah. We actually just closed the orders. I'm so glad I didn't get a notification for that. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I, have, I have no money left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you can hear that, that was Jasmine being the she devils. <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, so uh, Alex, you do group buys to oh, Saber Saber uh, Etsy. Etsy, yeah. Okay, so why Etsy and not to Saber for the spring? Because website? Um, Etsy is a shorter lead time and they've got limited editions on the website as well, on the Etsy page. And uh, yeah, we, it's just overall a shorter wait about six weeks as opposed to like four months. Okay, <laughs> yeah. But uh, there's less customization available. Okay, but it's not really Alright, I suppose. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, like, you know, like, Jeremy and Reza have shown us that even if you do get a limited niche kind of saber in terms of customization, you yeah. can still do something. Yeah, you can still customize it even more. Yeah. I, I'm actually waiting for Sanjeev to start customizing his saber and then to show us. Soon it'll come there. I only have one at the moment, right? It's just an ultra saber. It's, okay, it's an Sanjeev. orange light saber. But I'll get that. It's okay, Sanjeev. I can still add you in tonight because the, the buy is only going up tomorrow. Like I said, Rossini works on the week, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rafi. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually saving up for uh, for the inevitable Has- Hasbro um, Force effects. I mean, it's it's a, it's a it's an absolute certainty I think they'll make one. I mean, that's what I'm Where did you get this information from? Simply because... I don't think ha- it's been released yet. Comic-Con hasn't come out yet. Yeah, but I'm thinking there will be one. It's, it's sort of like... Well, that's true. They yeah, you know, I mean, it will be a huge marketing opportunity. They're probably going to do a loop reissue as well, definitely, because it will be updated for the post And uh, the, the best fit version, right? I mean, the, the best fit version. Yes, there will be the, the best fit version, right? That, yeah. that will be updated. Uh, also, that, this, of course, Anakin Skywalker's old lightsaber, right? 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 And Luke's first one, which, of course, he lost in. Uh, spoiler alert uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, he lost it there, guys. Uh, you're only 25. Wait. Yeah, 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 when, yeah when 38 years late, right? Yeah. <laughs> when he was this arm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, they'll definitely do a reissue of the Return of the Jedi yeah. saber. I think they'll update the design and probably try to get it to be a bit more movie accurate. Because as far as I know, the 
the Hasbro and Luke is not. No, it's not. It's actually a little bit bigger in handle than it's actually proper. Is that because they needed like a better compartment? Yeah, because they need to have a proper electronics too, so that you can actually get the light up, light down effect and contacts for the day and such as stuff. But yeah, you know, I mean, I, I honestly think there'll be reissues of all of this. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, electronics have come quite a long way since yeah. the last, you know, the last round of designs for the Sabres, so they'll probably have an updated one, right? So, okay, guys, like, you know, um, of course, I completely forgot what I was going to ask just now. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Uh, and yeah, we yeah, find the worst of us, yeah. Worst we actually we actually had a buka pasta together before this, you know, for those of you that are listening. Yeah, you know, we just decided to randomly everybody just like a couple of phone calls here and there. I think we're all like trying to prevent ourselves from going to food for much right now. <laughs> uh, that's actually too much food. Yeah. <laughs> we have we actually I mean you guys can't see it at home, but um, there are a few people who are off camera right now who look like they're in food comas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hence why they're not participating in the discussion <laughs> with us. Yeah. Yeah, ate too much. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. So guys, I guess this wraps up our third episode of Slum Nation. Round of applause, Woo! everybody. Woo! Okay, so I'd like to get everybody go around the table. Uh, give uh, one last shout out to our listeners. Uh, so are you, Jeremy? Okay. <laughs> Alex. There is no time. Okay. Nice. Sorry, man. Bang to food. What? You're not enough. Hello there. You cannot think. You can watch food also cannot think. Uh, yes. Hi, uh, this is Adlan. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye. Okay. And of course, Sean has decided to menyampo. Uh, huh? What hell are you? Well, that's why I'm here. And Jasmine has decided uh, to join us as well. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to make this one. <laughs> that was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> when this thing is okay, nice. yeah, that's how it is. Okay, if, I, if, I'm, if my video is working, just just know that Jeremy decided to not tell me the news, he decided to tell me the weather. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm your host, Rafi. Wait. <laughs> I'm your host, Rafi. Thank you so much for listening. Good night, and may the force be with you. Bye. May the force be with you.